Okay. I saw the big thumbs up. Now we're gonna see what the picks are. And another no surprise pick. It's a showcase between Johnny Chameleon and the Peacemaker Kano. I think you mean Megastar. It's a battle of some Hollywood actors for our entertainment, David. Absolute Johnny Master on combat side. This game, the last game, you know, both of them. Uh oh! Didn't quite have the bird back yet. Combat takes advantage. There you go. A tough start for Ninja Killer, already into the corner. Already lost 350. Yeah, decided to take all of it right there. So much extra pressure to break right now. Ninja gets opened up, but the staggers work for him. Just Ooh, a couple of errors, so rare to see. Stinky this guy. Couldn't hit. I mean, of all the strengths that you think of when you think of Ninja Killer, surely one is how strong his execution is. I'm sure he'll settle it down. Zombat doing a great job in the corner. Still no breaker either. Ninja, believe it. In the next round, I think he's just going to throw this one away. Raw Eagle, while he was in the corner. Sometimes you question the decisions, but then you go, it worked. Yeah, he's very much still alive in this thing. Ah, okay. Combat finds the end of the round. Hell yeah, you did. Almost had the conversion off the down. John, I think he believes in it. It could have been high enough to sweep far away to keep himself safe right there. It's a little scary. And different pressure from the Ninja Killer Peacemaker Kano than the others that we've seen. Loves that oh, shot. Oh, oh, oh. It's so tough to interrupt that string. Johnny's jab did it. Stand one into big business. Immediately, just absolutely relentless stuff from combat. Love that Ninja trying to make some really big reads in the column of when he's going to use that uh, chameleon as well. Eagly. Combat Eagly. looking super prepared. Eagly, of course, from Peacemaker having two moves. One that he sends Eagly full screen oh. at you, mid or low, and then he can call out a cameo and have Eagly attack it viciously. Take it out of the game for Eagly. quite some time. Oh, got an erosion right there. We saw the flash. Yeah. And just like that, in a flash, Zombat taking game number one over Ninja. Whoa, what a start to this one. I mean, yes, there were a couple of errors there by Ninja Killer. Uncharacteristic ones, I'm sure that we won't see moving forward. But other than that, it was so much control on combat side. Chasing down, whip punishing, mixing up well. Hitting all of his combos. Extremely aware of situations, like when Eagly didn't come out and he was ready for the whip punish. Yeah, that's when you really know that you're in tune with a character in the game. To know the internal cooldowns where you don't have an indicator on the screen. Yeah. Big brain stuff. Big start for Ninja though. Side switch, no. He's gonna get that position here. There's a fil filthy setup. Yeah, you have to actively cancel Kano Ball too while that's happening. Pretty tough on the old fingers, but there's the execution. Inputs, that's for sure. There's the execution. Uh-oh. I've seen this before. Between these two players. Ah, okay. that big on the overhead. Great block by Ninja. Man, you're shit. Oh. <laughs> Both these characters have some pretty good mid-round taunts. Yeah, Johnny's been getting away with a few of them. I know, man. He's saying stuff I can't say. That's messed up. It's a gravity. Game's ready to dark, guys. Quick stagger into what looks like the same normal that he does and staggers you with, which is the stand one. The startup of the throw looks exactly the same. It's Dirty. But for Chip, no. Sometimes I love it when they're oh, mm. super degenerate with those like Kano summons into the sky drop, just so oh, that they're yeah. doing like seven to eight percent chip at a time to you. Force field. Now with Glow, oh, he doesn't need to worry about projectiles. Oh, that, that sweep is not considered a projectile in the game. I think that's one of the first things that we tested against those no bullet normals. Any button from Ninja. Oh, a whip punish, actually. Eagly. The fact that even at time two. Ninja going for the chip there, for sure. Adding uh -oh. up, no Eagly, not ready for it. There was Zombat. He gets a throw at least. Not gonna be able to close the gap, but he does, okay. He's really gonna want to stay in so that, well, so that that kind of thing couldn't get set up. But as soon as Ninja got the distance, he went right to it. Really tough to flawless block that. Coming down from the top rope. With one of the most fun and unique situations at the end of a match. It's an ultimate test your might. Test your ability to flawless block. Yeah. Just or die. Exactly right. Just a couple frame windows to be able to do it. Extremely tight. And for him to like come off screen to do it, right? It's not like you can like visually see. You just got to know the the timing in your bones. Pretty tough. To do. It also wasn't seen on stream, but they actually had a tester might uh, punching machine 
here at Final Combat. A lot of players out there truly testing their might and seeing who is the physically strongest amongst the competitors here, which is awesome to see. Setting up the covered butt slam on the way out is Ninja Killer, and he's got the corner now. Oh, standing resets the choice. Eagly. It's a Kano. Yeah, Kano got hit. A double swing, but it's Ninja that gets gonna the be hit. Fine. Yeah. yeah we'll Ninja Killer in control. I'm always on target. Round two. Fight. And with corner. Oh. Unbelievable back three right there. The confidence to do it with your back to the wall right there. In range of a forward four peacemaker. Have you felt that one? Need a helmet? And it's known to happen. Interrupted easily though. He's got no bar to worry about, no EX headbutt. Eagly. To think about this way in. Get it raw anyway. And caught up with another back three. Yeah. Two for two in the round. Coast to coast. Always. And then just seen that one before. One of Zombat's favorite tools is that Here it is. That pressure. was the whip, though. You can choose not to attack because you're coming down, and that's exactly what Combat Red. I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Ninja recognizing the space. His, the chameleon was hit, so this is. Oh boy, okay. All right. Yeah, could he have died? Potentially. Pick it up. Beautiful. Are you kidding me? Eagly. Look, he was running expiration of a purple glow as well. Madness. Chip becoming an issue. See Ninja Killer as much. Oh, that might do it. He can't get out. He wanted to. And keeping it unbroken. And there's combat. That wasn't on the call sheet. Not letting Ninja Killer break out and reset the positioning, maintaining his pressure. Finally caught a torpedo, and I love those Ninja Killers seeing that he's outside of a range of a normal, that he has to forward dash into a button. He knows there's going to be some frames there that he can disrespect with with the wake-up buttons, and it's worked out a lot here. He's recognizing the aggression of Zombat. To some gunshots oh. and whoa, Eagle. just kidding. It was uh, there, was, there was a mind game there. Uh -huh, yeah, funky timing on this ninja kill, of course, coming off the meter. Eagle. He's Torpedo. got the distance game, uncovered headbutt that time. Suddenly, aggression from him. Sonic yes, Eagle. again, seemingly when combat thought that he was gonna run away, ninja kill all of a sudden up close, pressuring. Yes, again, again. Eagle. Oh. And eagerly, eagerly having the built-in movement backwards in a projectile there. Able to keep himself safe. And then as you see, once he's under under 100 HP, he's going for those chip sequences. That's immediate test your might. Up two, yeah, with Kano Ball there. Just a lot of stuff coming at you. So we've gone back to character select. Not expecting a change, but taking some time to think things through. <laughs> Anytime Johnny Cage is not on top of Peacemaker, that's really been the name of the game we saw earlier. The success in this matchup coming from Johnny's ability to get on Peacemaker and not let him go. Ninja doing a great job this time around. And he, those, those calls to the forward dashes, he was three for three on him, I think, in that game alone. Gonna give Zombat a lot to think about here. Well, what Combat's and, and how he about here is hovering over Goro. He hasn't selected it. Do it. He has selected it. Do it. Locked in. Types are all soft. Johnny Weak. Goro. The bullshit on the internet is rotting your brain. That, I, I can't say that. He's speaking facts, though. I can't say that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean. So Johnny Goro. A couple of different options that you have. And more, more consistent. Well, not exactly the right spacing he was looking for that time, but... You know, you get conversions in some situations that are just more guaranteed. With Cam, you get a lot of great stuff, but you gotta hope that you're on the right part of the color wheel. It's a good... That's right, he's gonna be able to escape that. No, Ninja still gets a full combo punish on the attempt to get out from Zombat. Thought he had to play, but Ninja had the trap card in the backfield ready to go. Okay. Throw's gonna even us up, though, and he tried another call to the aggression there with the fourth dash into the stand one. So much happening right now between the cameos. Yeah, a, a, a big reason to have gone with Goro here is to be able to do Shadow Kick into Goro for the safety and for the plus frames, actually, to be at mid range and then basically get right up close, right? Yeah, a lot of mind games oh, up close no! as well when, he, when he's got the Super poke special. And he didn't quite get the input that he was looking for. Here's a chance, though. Oh, that's gonna be close. It's always a lot of damage on this thing. Also, allows Goro to fully come back. Yeah, having two Goros here is gonna be really essential because Ninja. 
Won't have a lot of safe frames on the screen, but Shadow Kick's gonna be a threat. Goro's gonna be a threat. Yeah. Oh, so smart to read that Ninja was reading the Shadow Kick, I think, attempt right there. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, you can duck under it. Eagerly. I think that was Dalton around. Yeah, there's Goro, and you get a pickup. Whoa! That, never have I seen that on block, and I think that's exactly why it worked. One of those matchups where two players have played each other so much that you gotta do something wild to get it a hit, and that I think was one of them. Power fist on block. Who does that? I'm still offended. The Goro th throw. All Zombat right now in this one. Combat already in range to threaten that Shadow Kick in the Goro. Ninja Killer though. Up close, no. We canceled intentionally to go for the pickup, but maybe got lost in the yeah, recovery I don't know what there. or the cancel recovery. Zombat needs one more. It's a throw for Ninja. Super brave by Ninja Killer to dash up. He's trying to set things up up close. Taking the Kano, actually not a bad idea. That actually reset the situation for him. And one final hit for combat is going to take the game. Another game five. This lower half of the bracket on this top eight. Sensational so far. The winner of this will be facing Nikolas in the winner's semifinals. Yeah, the first two matches we had, 3-0, 3-0. Second two, totally the opposite. Is he going back to character sword? Yeah, he's back in there, okay. Fight. Already a much better performance again from the he's first time they right met. At the first stop of this pro competition in Connecticut at East Coast Throwdown. And another beautiful interruption for this disrespectful. That's cute. Denied the mix-up. Oh, I love that he was reading the jump. Eagly. Success though on some of those up darts. Oh. Set ball, there it is. Ninja Killer will break out, but he's still stuck in the corner. He'd love to, I was just gonna say, we'd love to set up this escape. The offense doesn't work. He's a reset. Zombat. Eagly. Looking for a way to bypass that mid range. Ninja Killer putting up all sorts of stuff between him and the opponent. What a oh. duck! So quick on the micro, and it is match point. All Zombat right now. Three bars just Hell loaded 90% yeah, of the hype bar. Fight. Eagly. You feel the pressure in the atmosphere of this building right now. And Zombat, the precipice to put Ninja into losers. Goro saved him there from a micro duck read from Ninja. The throw parried by Zombat. And with no breaker available, he's getting taken to the corner, and he's worrying about three bars and another four-armed monstrosity at that. There, there is. it is. The grab will come out of the corner. Combat has to chase. Almost did. Punched a bird on the offense. Gets drop kicked though. A unique ender of the string again. Something to work. He needs it. The throw doesn't work all over his yard, but oh, so okay. and we got the star he's killing into the parry, but the diamond at that one. This is getting crazy. Eagly. And that meter's gonna drain there on the bottom right. Try to keep it so safe. Beautiful, flawless block and interruption again! And because Goro got hit, not able to break. Those three bars not mattering, and this is a completely different match all of a sudden. He could be a chip territory. Oh, yeah. And we know how hard that is to I'm escape. Kidding, he's Never dead. mind! He's out of I'm here! A liar! Oh my goodness! We got a final round situation to move on! Between combat and Ninja Killer. One round to go. Oh, great trade there by Ninja. Look at the damage done to Zombat's health bar already because of that. And also he... denies Goro for a while. He hit Goro and him for like 250. It's what a start. In a situation. Dead even as well. I haven't seen a lot of breakers from either of these players. What a wall. Until now, there it is. So buttons he all of a sudden in this round as Ninja Killer. Torpedo. Had to back and off. Headbutt again. Eagle. Had Kane over safety. Canceled the ball. Pretty slick. Mm. Kano's getting hits in as well. Down for it, not with punished. That could have been huge. So buttons he in this round. He's put up a wall much more actively in these situations. Didn't get it for more though. He's probably hoping that he forced a breaker off those couple straight hits. The back throw though. Ooh. Gonna hit him down to one. Should be coming a big issue. Just needs one. There it is, Ninja Killer. Three games to two. What a close result, but he got it. He will move on, continuing in winner's side. And the story continues where it's not as dominant as we've seen in previous games.